Today's video is to show how I make this grill that fits in my uh, 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD and it's this little grill that covers this normally open section here. I made it out of aluminum and uh, stainless steel mesh with uh, stainless steel hardware as well. I don't know if you can see in here but there's a metal bracket you can see my finger in there with holes in it. There's two holes. There's one down there that you can't really see and there's one here. You can see the tip of my finger there. And uh, I'll make a metal flange that goes through there and out here a ways out of aluminum and I'll make a template out of some cardboard here. And my favorite template material that I use even on my leather projects is old cereal boxes. Okay, first thing I'll do is measure this opening. It's about four and a half inches. So I'm going to cut a strip of this. It's about four and a half inches wide. Yeah, that's about right. And I need to go in there about probably an inch at least. Yeah, no, let's make it an inch and a half. Okay, bent, bent the cardboard around so it'll fit back in there like a piece of metal. And then I want to mark this about where I want the grill to come out to. And since I'm going to be sandwiching several pieces together, I'm going to pull it back from this front edge maybe, I don't know, three quarters of an inch. Looks to me like this needs to tilt out also on this bend, so that's not going to work the way I did it. I'll make a second bend here and try to correct that and see what happens. Yeah, that's better. So I'm going to make a, a second template here in a minute that doesn't have these second bends in it so it's more uniformly shaped. But then <coughs> This strip I'm using is a half an inch wide, this aluminum strip that I'm going to make the frame with. So I'm going to make this also a half an inch wide on this last cut. Cut that off. So now this should fit like that. So that'll be the main bracket. I'll have one on each side. So I'll make a mirror of this for the other side and then I can start figuring out the uh, framework. I went ahead and remade the uh, template for all here that I refined it a little bit and I also made a second one that's a mirror image for the other side. I went ahead and put the dimensions on it so the back flange is a half or excuse me one and a half inches. It's four and a half inches deep and one and a half inches then to tilt it out it's two inches at the top and I note, noted this is the top on the passenger side and one and a half inches on the bottom. And the little flange that'll hook to the frame is a half an inch all the way. So this will go in like this. The mirror image will go in on the other side. Now I'll mark the holes on the back side where the holes are gonna be that are already pre-drilled in this metal bracket in the back. Okay, I've gone ahead and marked now where the drill holes will be to mount this bracket to the uh, that flange that's inside the truck already. So I'll just drill in the center of each one of these marks to mount the flanges. So now I'll have to go make this an aluminum sheet. Okay, I got a piece of aluminum here. I've already marked it out four and a half inches wide, so I'm going to cut that off and then mark out the uh, the template pieces on here.
Okay, I'm going to start marking out the measurements on this and bending it. So the back flange was an inch and a half deep. And I'll bend that. I don't have a metal brake, so I'm just going to have to use my vise. Okay, there's the back flange on one of them. Now this next measurement was two inches. This is going to be the passenger side. Two inches at the top. It was an inch and a half at the bottom. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and mark for the other cut on this which was a half an inch approximately width. I have to mark it on this side so it can go through the bandsaw. I'll make this probably a little bit wider than half an inch because I'm going to have to allow for the metal bending. Let's make it 5 eighths. Cut that off in the bandsaw again. Okay, I'm ready to bend this next piece for the mounting flange. bad I may have to do a little metal work on that but that's the finished flange bracket for the um, passenger side I went ahead and made the second bracket off camera so I've got um, the passenger side and the driver's side and now I'm going to mark where the um, holes need to be located at least the holes for the back flange. I went ahead and drilled these off camera so the holes are drilled for mounting them onto the truck bracket. The holes on the front for the um, grill itself I'm gonna wait and drill those later when I know the exact location. Okay I've got the brackets made and I need to bolt it in here. One of these uh, is pretty hard to get at without taking the whole grill assembly on. I, I want to avoid that if I can. So I've put some bolts in here and just taped them in to hold them in place while I try to slide it in here and see if I can get it to go in. Okay, there's one bracket kind of just temporarily put in there but that'll work fine and I'll do the other side and that will finish up the um, the bracket portion of it 